Today we're going to discuss the uniform distribution uh, and to start our discussion I want to take a look at an example. The example says the time it takes me to wash the dishes is uniformly distributed between 6 and 16 minutes. What is the probability that washing dishes tonight will take me between 11 and 15 minutes? So uh, a uniform distribution is a continuous distribution. Uh, prior in this course, we've talked about discrete distributions. Uh, with discrete distributions, you're looking at uh, perhaps you can have two successes or three successes or four successes, but there's a discrete number of successes that you can have. You couldn't have 2.753 successes or 5.372 successes. Uh, here though, uh, if it took you 12 and a half minutes <clears throat> to wash the dishes, that would be a success. Or if it took you 13.45732 minutes, that would be a success. Uh, there's an infinite number of, uh, in this case, time slots uh, that could be counted as a success for washing dishes between 11 and 15 minutes. So it is a continuous distribution and it is uniformed in that uh, a uniform distribution every outcome is equally likely. You are just as likely to take 6 minutes as you are 7, as you are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're just as likely to take 12 minutes as you are 8 and a half or 6 and a half or seven and three quarters, or 9.4732 minutes, or 12.3758 minutes. Uh, every outcome is equally likely. So because each outcome is equally likely, uh, the distribution will be shaped like a box. So let's see if I can get my tool to work here. The bottom of our distribution will be 6, the start of our distribution, and the end of our distribution will be 16. And the distribution is uniformly distributed. I'm going to construct it to look like this. And just to provide a little bit of intrigue, let's see if I can get this to be gray. There we go. All right, so here's our distribution. Uh, we have a formula. We can take a look at that. So this is a uniform distribution, which is defined on um, a uniform interval from 6 to 16 in our case. So A would be 6, B would be 16, where A is less than X, less than B. And F of X is defined as 1 over b minus a. So in our situation we're looking at 1 over 16 minus 6 which as you can probably tell would be 1 over 10. So I'm going to label the distribution right here as 1 over 10. Uh, so why are we going to do 1 over b minus a? Well one way you could think of this is to think about the area of a rectangle. You know that uh, with a distribution, the sum of all possible probabilities must be 1. So the area of this rectangle has to be 1. So if the area equals 1, and we have an interval of 10, or a length of 10, what height would give us an area of 1? It would be 1 tenth. So that's where this 1 over b minus a uh, comes from. Alright, uh, this particular question asks us 
what is the probability that washing dishes will take between 11 and 15 minutes? So I'm going to mark um, 11 here. And 15. That's about right there. And I will color that section color red. Oops. Let's try this. There we go. All right. Uh, let me number it off here. So this is 11. And this is 15. So uh, we want to know the probability for this area. Uh, so the formula for that would be this right here. With the uniform distribution, uh, when you have a C less than a D, uh, you can find the probability by doing D minus C, so finding the interval, times the distribution function, the F. So in this case, we are asking for 11 less than X less than 15, interval between 11 and 15 minutes. So we're going to do 15 minus 11 times 1 tenth. And I'll stretch this out so we can see it. Uh, 15 minus 11, it would be 4 times a tenth. Which would be 0 0.4. So you could say there's a 40% chance that uh, I can get the dishes washed between 11 and 15 minutes.